Hello, my beautiful people. It's time for a room pull. Let's see, what does Spirit have to say to us today? I had to put this them in another bag because there was this hole. And, um... I probably could just take them out of that bag, too, but... Oh. What do we have today? <laughs> there we go. And what stone, PRG, is that? So this stone is Iwas, and I want to show you the difference. So this is Iwas, okay? And this is Sowilo. I'm just going to hold my book up so they can see it. See that? So Iwas and Sowilo look the same, and they are often confused. Um, but it's important to know the difference. So this is Iwas. Oh. Right? And Iwas is the yew tree. And it means balance, enlightenment, um, the death of a path, the world tree, wisdom, wisdom of the path, trees connect to the underworld as above, so below, strong, firm, and flexible, the past growing into the future, um, apples, uh, apples are the fruits of the dead, hidden secrets, deep knowledge, spiritual endurance, transition to a new life, and just a reminder that bravery will be needed, and there is no reverse. So we have gotten this stone before. Well, in theory, we've gotten all the stones before, right? But what does it mean? What is it saying to us? So let us pull a card actually being called to pull from Cosmic Journey today. And then, well, we, I always get one from Spirit God, but so I feel like I should first get one from here. All right. All right. Wow. One threw itself right out. To be enlightened, lighten up. I don't know. Look, there's like a little circle there. There's like a little tongue sticking out. So... It's a reminder to be joyful and to have fun. And, um, you know, we, we have this thing. And, and in church, I always felt this. You'd be so serious and sanctimonious. And, you know, um, and I'm thinking, boy, like, did Jesus not have a sense of humor? Like, did the apostles not, like, joke around? Did they not have fun? Was there not joy and fun and happiness? Was there not, was there not you know, you know, festivities? Like, they went to weddings. Did everybody sit around and, like, oh. No, they had fun. They had they told jokes. They played pranks. You know, they, they had fun. So being enlightened isn't about being serious and, oh, and like, you know, you don't have to do any of that. You can actually bring joy to the table. And, um, and, and I think it's important that we do that because I think people see religious people and spiritual people as being boring and mean and judgy. Let us not be that way. Let's be full of fun. I am full of nonsense. If you know me in real life, you know I'm, I am full of nonsense, tomfoolery, and shenanigans. Let's get a card from Spirit, Celtic Spirit. My spirit guide's always like, oh, come on, PRG. One popped out. We have Bloodwit, Wisdom, Power, and Transformation. So, going with the stone, right, we have this idea that we, we are wise, we're on this new path, we've been having these stones every day, right, and this is my daily reading, my one pull reading, so, you know, we've been on this path, but bring joy to it, like, br bring, bring, and I don't mean magic as as far as, like, casting cells, but bring the magical beauty of this pathway that you're on, whatever pathway you're on. Um, you know, Lent is a serious time if you celebrate Lent, if you, if you observe Lent in the Christian tradition, it's a time of reflection and it's a, you know, but that doesn't mean it's humorless, right? It doesn't mean you have to be, uh, you know, people are drawn to light. They're not drawn to, what the word is, they're not, they're not drawn to negativity, you know, like they're not drawn, they, they, people don't want to be absorbed in a negative energy. You know, well, some people do, but most people don't. P people want light if it's available. They'll go toward light. You know, people will naturally, unconsciously go toward positive things if there's enough positive things around to go to. 
our culture has a lot of negative things, a lot of negative places they can go. So we have to bring the light. And we have to make it fun. People don't want to go to boring crap that is complicated and un not understandable. You know, they they want to be able to have bananas, stick out their tongue, and have joy. Come out. Hang out with me. We'll have fun. I am wishing you all the best in light and love. Have an amazing day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.